Hey everyone, it's Bryce with Seven Sons and Hangear.com. And today I'm going to show you how to install our new AC power or direct power actuator kit. So when you mount this onto your nest box, it'll automatically lower the roost bar for you in the morning. So you no longer have to manually do that any longer. Let's get started. Okay, so our actuator kits are very simple to install. The only tools required will be a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, a 5 16 and a 3 8 wrench. If you're installing this on a rear rollout nest box, you will also need a 7 16 wrench. All necessary hardware is included. Obviously the actuator with the, uh, with the mounting bolts and lock nut, the uh, tension spring, that is actually what is what pulls down the roost bar. And then the L bracket, that, that is actually what catches and holds your roost bar closed uh, from the plunger here. And it also includes the, uh, uh, the wood screws as well. If you're setting up uh, your nest box as a rear rollout, you will need this eye bolt as well. So first off, let's go ahead and set the current time on the uh, clock here. Let's take off the cover. And it looks like it's set on military time. So to get off that, you're gonna press uh, the S and the M at the same time, or seconds and minutes. Okay, so we're now off that. And the current time is 11.05 a.m. and it's Thursday. So to set the time, you're gonna press and hold the clock button. You're gonna continue holding that and just start pressing the D or days. And we're gonna to go to Thursday. All right, now to set the hours, we're gonna press and hold the clock button again and we're gonna start clicking the H and we're gonna to go to 11 a.m. Okay, now to set the minutes, we're gonna press and hold the clock button again and go through the minutes here. So it's 1105. Okay, that is how you set the time. Okay, so next step, we'll show you how to program the time that you'd like your uh, your roost bar to open up in the mornings every day. It's very important that these uh, that, you, that, that you don't want to burn up these actuator motors. So you really only need them to turn on for no more than one second to release that roost bar in the mornings. So we're going to go over and click program. And we're going to do a, uh, we're, just for example, we're going to do 6 a.m. Uh, every morning. So we're going to put days we're already selected uh, Monday through Sunday. So now we're gonna change the hours. We wanna go to 6 a.m. All right, we're at six. Click the minutes. We're just gonna go all the way around back to six here. And this is the time we would, uh, we want the roost bar to, to release. Okay, 6 a.m. Now we have program. Now we just need to program the time uh, that we wish for the uh, the motor to stop operating. So it needs to be 6 a.m. in one second. Days. Okay, so we got Monday through Sunday there. And we're gonna go ahead and go to hours. Okay, we are on six minutes. We really only need it to run for one second, so we're gonna go all the way through it here. You can hold on to any one of these buttons, and it'll automatically go through the numbers there for you. Okay, and you hit the program button, and then the clock button. And then you'll wanna click the manual button over here. You want this to be selected for auto off. There you have it. Okay, so next up, we we'll wanna grab our 3 8 wrench and our Phillips head screwdriver and remove these two bolts and nuts. Okay, so next step, we we'll wanna mount the actuator motor to the nest box itself. Uh, you wanna make sure these bolts are in the second hole here. And then you'll wanna remove the, uh, the lock nuts on the back side. And mount them to the nest here. And then you'll want to tighten these up using the, uh, the 5 16 wrench and the Phillips head screwdriver. 
Okay, so the next step now will be to mount your, uh, your L bracket to the roost bar and you wanna get it lined up with the plunger. So you'll put it right behind it. You'll pull it down, make sure it, it, it does catch. Um, you'll wanna make sure that the bracket is centered with the plunger and then I'll actually take a pen and I'll mark the holes And it's completely up to you. You can uh, you can pre-drill these holes if you wish to make it easier uh, to put the wood screws in, but you can just uh, screw them in uh, directly with the screwdriver. Okay, and the next step will be to, to clip the spring to the hole here on the roost bracket and then this hole down here on the collection tray. We just simply need to twist it on, catch. We like to have it on the outside. Right down here and you'll wanna clip it to this as well. There you go. And then you'll wanna take your, uh, your needle nose pliers and just pinch them together so they don't easily come off. Or pinch the ends together, I should say. Okay, so then we'll wanna make sure the roost bar will obviously lower uh, when the actuator switch uh, or plunger switch comes up. So we're gonna pull it up here. You see it only went down about halfway. Uh, so not a big deal. We just have to loosen up these lock nuts uh, that's on the, uh, the roost bracket. So we'll relatch that. We'll take our Phillips head screwdriver and our 3 8 wrench and just loosen it up just a little bit. We'll do it on both sides here. Okay, so now it's this. Okay, it's almost all the way down. That's actually just about perfect. You don't want it slamming down. That is enough that a bird can get up here uh, and get into the nest then. Okay, so that's how you install our actuator kit to a front roll out nest box. So in the afternoons, after you gather the eggs, you'll just simply latch it shut. And you'll want to obviously make sure this uh, converter is plugged into an outlet. If you ordered our three pack uh, version, you'll get three motors or actuators uh, with an extension cord here. You just plug this into an outlet and then plug every one of the converters into these, into these outlets. And if you'd ordered a six pack actuator kit, you'll just simply include another extension cord that you just plug into on the end of this and uh, so forth. If you ordered a, uh, a nine pack or even a 12, 12 pack, they'll just include additional extension cords that you just plug together. Okay, so mounting this to a rear rollout nest box is very simple. The way you go about mounting the actuator and the LL bracket is the exact same. The only difference is the way you mount the spring. So first off, you'll want to remove the quarter inch bolt here using your 7 16 wrench. And then you're going to simply replace it. Push it out there. And you're going to replace it with this eye bolt. Zip that nut in the washer. Run it up on through. Put your washer on top and secure that on. Okay, next you're going to want to remove the 3 16 bolt down here. You're going to want to use your Phillips head screwdriver and your 3 8 wrench. And then you're going to take the spring and you're going to want to place the, uh, the bolt right through the end of the spring here and take your uh, pliers and just pinch it closed tight. There we go. And then you're just going to simply run it right back on through. Okay, once that's all finished up, then you'll just tap, clip this end here to the uh, to the eye bolt. A little bit of work to twist that on, and then you'll want to pinch it closed. All right, you're all set. 
And like I say, you can tighten up those brackets if it's coming down too hard. Okay, well, thank you for watching. That's how you install a hang gear AC actuator switch on both a front and rear rollout configuration. And something else I want to point out real quick here that I feel like you should know about is when you have this set up as a rear rollout and say your collection tray is sticking through your coop wall and you, you want to gather your eggs all from the outside of your coop, which is just awesome. Well, with our new uh, magnetic back, you now can close the roost bar and remove hens and even latch the, the uh, actuator switch from the outside of your coop. So you don't even have to enter your coop to do nest box chores. So you just simply reach your hand on through, grab hold of the roost bar, pull it up, and you can latch it all from the outside of your coop. And obviously you can collect eggs as well. Uh, the other thing I should point out is the fact that you do not, your, your uh, wall that you mount on does not have to be perfectly leveled. It'll still, since we're using a spring, it does not matter uh, how level your wall is. So if you're, uh, say, running these in a portable structure and you're, in, you're on hilly, uneven ground, uh, it's just, it's very crucial that these things are going to open up no matter uh, what, uh, what grade the, uh, the ground is. So if you'd like to learn more about, about what we're doing on our farm, please visit sevensons.net. If you'd like to learn more about our products, visit hengear.com. Till next time. <laughs>